Hello beautiful people. If this is your first time, don't worry, not a seance. We are reading poetry by fake candlelight. So this one today is called A Love Letter. Imagine God reading it to you or saying it to you. Come to the water. I will revive you. Storms may rise, but never seize you. Lean on my shoulder. Give me your tears. Don't you know I've been here all these years? Child, you're weary. I see your heart. Lay down your burden. I'll make them art. Who are you to worry about the future when I already know? Drink from the water. I know you thirst. You will never go hungry one day on this earth. Hold to the promise. There's no reason to fear. I have the answers. You need just draw near. Mountains may shake and kingdoms will fall, but I am not hidden. I hold it all. Grace, dear, abounds you. Be steadfast in faith. I'll give you comfort for all of your days. Water, revive her. Fire, set her ablaze. I love you forever. Now follow my ways. Child, you are made new. Look up. I am and always will be for you. From your loving father. The process of writing this poem is probably my most cherished poem writing experience ever because it wasn't like I was trying to pull words out of a hat or make something up on the spot um, and it wasn't like I was suddenly super duper emotional. I was in my room around this time last year actually and the melody of Run to the Father kept on repeating over and over and over and over and over again in my head. I run to the Father, I fall into grace, no reason for hiding, no reason to wait. My heart needs a surgeon, my soul needs a friend, so I run to the Father again and again and again and again. So with this process, it just suddenly felt like I had these new words that I, I desperately needed to put to this melody. And God, he either gave me the beginning of the phrase and I had to find my way to the end, or he gave me the end of the phrase and I had to find my way to the end. So it was this incredible partnership, not me trying to force anything. He was really in it with me. It was like this poem already existed, but it was just me being led by him through a maze to find this poem through him and through his help. And I feel like that can be true for life as well. When you walk with him and you rely on him, on him and you listen to him, he leads you and you have that peace when you go through it. It's it might be confusing, you might not know how to get to the end, but you have that unexplainable, supernatural peace, and it is absolutely incredible. So I hope this has encouraged you. Tell me what you felt when you were listening to it, how it spoke to you, and if God brought anything up for you that was just profound, I guess. So enjoy the rest of your day or night and stay blessed.